okay in this lecture of surveying we are going to cover the principles of surveying okay and the two principles of surveying are the first one is working from whole to part okay remember this working from whole to part okay and the second principle is location of a point location of a point from two points of reference okay location of a point from two points of reference okay the two principles the first one being working from whole to part and the second one is location of a point or positioning of a point from at least two points of reference okay now let's go into the details of these two principles one by one now let's see the first principle which is working from whole to part okay let us first understand why working from whole to part is important and how working from part to whole may lead to serious errors okay let's see for example we are having an area like this okay and another area we will try to work from part to whole and one area we are trying to cover with the principle whole to part okay now see if we start from working from a specific part to whole let's say we started surveying from this specific point and we started working from this direction and this direction now while we were carrying out survey at specific this specific point then it led to inculcation or addition of some error at this specific point now while we are running the traverse or doing the survey in this direction then the error that was generated at this specific location would get added to further calculations okay whatever the further survey work we are doing then this error would get magnified okay and same error same or some different error if it is introduced in this direction then what will happen this error will get accumulate in the specific this direction and it would magnify its magnitude okay it will increase its magnitude and the whole survey work will get erroneous okay means a lot of error or a very large error will get introduced in the whole survey work okay this is what happens when we work from part to whole what we did here was a whole area was to be surveyed and we started from a specific point and while carrying out survey at the specific point an error got introduced at that point and while we continued the work from that point the error got its value magnified in the whole process of this survey and that's why part to whole is a wrong method to adopt while carrying out survey okay now we will see how working from whole to part limits the error and doesn't allow the magnification of error okay now let's see how whole to part works okay now in whole to part approach what we do is we establish major control points okay what we are doing we are establishing major control points for the area to be surveyed okay and now the major control points are provided with minor control points okay now when we are starting the survey okay we start it with major control points and we go on connecting the whole traverse okay the whole survey work is connected in between therefore since we are having a continuous reference of major control points which are established there with very high precision the error value the error that may get introduced has its value very less okay very less error is introduced and it is very much possible to keep the error in control okay the error can be kept in control when we are approaching from precisely located major control points and when we are running traverses within smaller 
control points okay or minor control points therefore whatever the error that has introduced in whole to part approach stays within limit doesn't magnify its magnitude okay therefore this is how whole to part approach is very much beneficial in survey work now let's see the second principle which is locating a point from two points of references from two points of reference actually the second principle is more precisely can be said as locating a point from at least two points of reference okay now see what this second principle is saying for example if we want to locate a point r and we are having two points point p and point q like this okay we are having two known points here and we have to locate point r then there are multiple ways with which we can locate the position of r okay now see the one method in which look in which we can locate the position of r is we can swing an arc from point p okay since the distance pr is known what we can do we can swing an arc from point p and we can swing an arc from point q therefore where the points are getting cross okay where the lines are crossing it gives the exact position of r okay what we were knowing distance pr was known distance qr was known now what we have done with respect to this two point that is point p and point q we have swing two arcs and the crossing the cross point of the two points sorry two arc is the exact location of point r okay another way of locating a point is let's say again we are having two points points p and point q and we have to determine the location of r with respect to point p and q okay now what we can do is we can join the two points p q okay now by using set square we can drop a perpendicular for r okay by using a set square we can have a perpendicular and the position of r can be thus determined okay the line sr is drawn by using set square okay the point p point p and point q were known and what we have done we have joined the line pq and by using a set square what we have done is we have drop a perpendicular over there so thus distance sr can then be measured therefore the relative distance between point r and the line pq is now known therefore we have used two points of references minimum two point of references that is point p and point q have been utilized another way of locating a point is by knowing a distance and an angle in previous cases in first example we saw we knew the distance is pr and qr in second case we drop a perpendicular now in this case we will be having two point that is again point p and point q now we can join this line okay now the initial data that we know is we know distance qr and we know angle pqr therefore we can first draw an angle by using a protractor we can plot a plot an angle and then by plotting a line equivalent to length qr we can have our position of point r okay p q were the known points were the reference points then what we did we joined the line p q and the data known was length q r and angle p q r okay this specific theta was known therefore what we did we had the angle p q r set then we drew the exact distance q r okay therefore now the position of r with respect to point p and point q is known okay this is another way of locating point okay one more way of locating a point with respect to two reference point is knowing two angles okay again we are having this two reference point point p and point q 
now in order to this in order to determine the point r we only know two angles angle rpq and angle rqp now what we can do we can first join line pq now by using this reference line pq we can keep the protractor somewhere here and we can have the angle pqr point plotted over here then by knowing angle rpq we can have the point located somewhere over here now we can connect the dots like this we can connect the lines like this then the angle alpha let's say and angle beta since angle pqr and rpq was known then we can determine the position of r okay in this we did not use any distance okay we determine the position of r by using two angles only again by using two reference point that is p and q position of r can be found out if we know one distance and one angle okay in one previous case we knew one angle and one distance now if we don't know the same distance for point qr but if we are having distance pr and angle pqr we can still locate point r now let's see how first connect point pq okay then first we will swing protractor to locate the exact angle alpha theta whatever it be like this okay therefore this is the angle pqr now we don't know where r exactly is but we know distance pr therefore what we will be doing we will be plotting we will be using a scale in order to have the exact distance exact known distance pr and then we will connect the line like this okay now this is point p and this is distance known distance pr therefore the location of r can be found out when we are having distance pr and angle pqr to summarize the topic we saw two principles here okay the first one was working from whole to part and the second principle that we saw was locating or positioning a point locating a point from two points of reference okay that's all for the video in next video we will see some another important topic from surveying till then bye